Hi everyone, my name is Mike Kuchera and I'm an agronomist at the National Soil Survey Center with the Natural Resources Conservation Service. And today I'm going to talk about some of the soil quality assessments that, that, that the VOAG teachers have learned about uh, at our Soils Excellence Soils Training and Excellence Program. And the first thing to start, uh, to start with is before you do your assessments is to go out and sample your soils. and uh, the, the first educator guide I'm going to cover is the, is the soil quality measurement. And basically there are two fundamental ways to assess soil quality. One is to take measurements over time, or one is to compare measured values uh, to a standard condition to see what kind of condition your soil's in. When we're sampling our soils, uh, what you're going to be doing is sampling them for primarily the organic matter tests, the EC electroconductivity test, the pH test, the phosphate, and the nitrate test. So the sampling, once you have your students go out to their farm, their field, and sample, it's going to be the same for all five of those. The first thing we want to do is make sure that uh, we have a field that we're, we're going to sample. Uh, we're going to try to sample similar soils, similar management histories. If there's some specific things that the students might have in mind that are troublesome to uh, such as uh, low productivity areas or things like that, uh, you, should, you should really sample those separately. Uh, as part of the soils grant program, we've we got a soils probe and so basically with this probe you're going to go out and sample. It's a zero to eight inch sample. Uh, randomly sample across the field according to what's in the guide. You're going to collect that those samples uh, and then you're going to place them in, in the bucket. Uh, once they're in the bucket, uh, you pretty much have your samples ready to go for all those various tests. Uh, the big thing is uh, do not let it totally dry out. Uh, uh, you <clears throat> basically, you can put that in a, in a bag if you need to that you got to keep it uh, somewhat moist. But if you keep it uh, <clears throat> uh, moist for too long, it'll start changing in properties. So you want to do your tests fairly soon after sampling. Also, a technique you can do is, is refrigerate. Uh, once, you, once you sample, uh, you can put them in a refrigerator and then it'll be a little more accurate.